Hi Chad, uh, my name is Brandon Lange McNeil. I'm uh, from O'Regan's Toyota in Dartmouth. Um, I just want to do a little walk around uh, of the 2019 RAV4 LE all-wheel drive. And this is uh, kind of our one of our special editions. We did uh, a couple of uh, painted the uh, side roof to kind of give it that two-tone color. We call it the North Edition. We'll go around to the front here. You can see beautiful uh, grill right there. Nice kind of honeycomb grill. As well as you got LED um, lights as well as LED daytime running lights. Go around here, the front. And these lights here, uh, Chad, these lights are made out of a really strong material, actually material that they use to build um, aircrafts. You can hit it with a lot of force and it does nothing to it. It's really good material. The wheels that are on these, these are alloy wheels. They are the Black Dote Edition, so we've actually uh, painted these ourselves. Um, and these are actually a 225-65R17 wheel. That comes standard on the LE all-wheel drive 2019 RAV4. Also, you see you have a black color right around here, around the wheel wells. We go around to the mirror here. These mirrors, really, really nice mirrors. They uh, come with blind spot monitoring, so when someone's in your blind spot, that, that notice right here will illuminate orange, really nice feature, as well as it has integrated turn signals. So as soon as you turn, it'll show that the signal light's there. These mirrors are heated and they also fold. So if you were parked and you wanted to fold in your mirrors, they have that option. We'll go around here. And you have LED tail lights as well with a dual tipped exhaust. So as you can see, there's one, there's two exhausts. I know it's a little darker here. Also, there's your backup camera. So the uh, 2019 RAV4 does come standard with the backup camera. Um, your rear wiper blade right there. As you can see, this is the LE all-wheel drive edition, like the one that you were inquiring about there. And you can just see the new styling of the RAV4. It's very, very, um, very uh, well done. The aerodynamics, one of the things they've done is they've actually increased the uh, how much horsepower you can actually put in this as well as better fuel economy. All right, so that's a complete uh, walk around. Now we're going to go inside the vehicle. So inside the vehicle here you have a pump for your seat so you can actually raise it or pump it down. As you can see, the seat is going down. That's for your back there. We'll go in here. So it has auto lights. So the lights are also automatically gonna turn on, automatically gonna turn off, as well as automatic high beams. And again, these are LED lights. So these are a really nice, bright light. Well, uh, gives you lots of light when you're driving there. And this other button here you see, that's a heated windshield wiper de-icer. It actually helps melt the ice off the wiper blades. Again, another really nice feature. On the steering wheel here, we have all your steering wheel controls. So you can increase the volume, lower the volume. You also have voice activation. Now, the 2019 RAV4 does come standard with Apple CarPlay. So if you happen to have an Apple, it does come with Siri Eyes Free too. So that's a, that's a nice feature where you can talk to Siri and it'll automatically choose you know, hey Siri, play this song, etc. Um, if you have an Android, no problem. Uh, it doesn't have Android Auto. However, you can take the maps. Uh, it has a system called Entune Audio Suite, and I can send you the information on that just in an email. A uh, really nice system as well. Great thing that they've added here. This is the cruise control. We actually now, with the 2019 RAV4, we have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. And what that means is it actually has dynamic radar cruise control full speed. So full speed dynamic radar cruise control. So all of a sudden in our previous model, if you start to slow down to about 50 kilometers an hour, your cruise control would automatically disengage. Now it'll set all the way to zero. So what that means actually is if a vehicle in front of you starts to slow down, you have your speed set to 100, it's automatically going to set a uh, safe enough distance between you and the vehicle. So it'll start to slow down. And if all of a sudden that vehicle comes to a complete stop, you will too. Nice safety features as well. 
The other thing this has is it has lane trace assist with road edge detection. And what that entails is if you go over the line, now there's cameras on the, um, on the bottom of these mirrors, and what it's there to do, uh, Chad, is it'll beep and actually let you know and it'll bring you right back to the middle. The other thing this has is road edge detection. And when you set your cruise control, let me tell you, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, it pretty much keeps you in the very center of the line. The car will actually turn with you. It, we're getting close to the point where the cars can drive themselves, but we're not there right yet. It does say if you le let go of the, your uh, steering wheel too long, it will tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel. Give you an idea, I drove to Cape Breton and I put it in my uh, cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control, with the uh, road edge detection. and. I just had my hand pretty much right here the whole entire time and the car turned itself, everything else. Really, really nice features. Um, the other thing that you get here is you get heated seats. Heated seats are, of course, a nice feature, especially here in Nova Scotia. You really never know what the weather's going to be like. Is it going to be hot or cold? Auto uh, climate control as well, so you can automatically set your climate control. Air conditioning, of course. A nice touch screen as well. And like I said, this does come standard with Apple CarPlay. And as you can see, it's a nice big screen. Shows you the time there and everything. You also have the Entune Audio Suite. Um, now, one of the things I want to get into is the all-wheel drive system. Now, you have an all-wheel drive system that not only works for the snow, but for any terrain you can really think of. So you're in the snow, you're stuck, you got an all-wheel drive mode for that. You're stuck in the mud and sand, you want to take it off-road, Got an all-wheel drive mode for that. Rock and dirt, got an all-wheel drive mode for that. It's pretty remarkable. They've really made this vehicle an adventure edition. And what that means exactly is you can take it on any adventure you want. Don't be worried about the train that you're in. This RAV4 will get right through it. And the other thing it comes with now is an electronic uh, parking brake. And what that means is when you put the vehicle in park, it automatically turns your emergency brake on. And when you put it in drive, I'll just show you here automatically disengages it nice feature that whole brake feature is a nice feature as well um, what it does is when you're uh, when you're at a stoplight or something and you want to hold the brake take your foot off the brake you can press the button and it'll automatically hold the brake for you so that way you can rest your uh, rest your lag there you also have a USB control and a nice little cubby for your cell phone as well that's a nice feature that they've added as well they've added a little cubby hole right here I know it's hard to see but there is a little uh, cubby hole right here that you can put your belongings, as well as some little compartments here. Inside the glove compartment here, you have, of course, the manual, and of course you have the um, wheel locks and the manual there. This is just another little spot that you can place stuff in. Alright, so that's the interior. Power locks, power windows, of course. Now, the back seats, <laughs> one of the things they've done is they've actually made this more space in the back again. And wait till you see the cargo capacity in this thing, Chad. It's quite remarkable. When I open this up, you're going to be quite surprised. So I'm just going to put both seats down to just show you exactly, you know, if you don't have any passengers, how much space you really have. You can pretty much fit, you know, your couch, what pretty much whatever you can think almost in the back of here. There's the space right there. Now every vehicle does come with two sets of mats, so I've seen you saying about custom mats. If you look at these mats, um, Chad, and they're really a good quality mat. Very similar to like what a WeatherTech mat would be. So if you would like custom mats, we can do WeatherTech, but the RAV4 or the Toyota, I mean, do come with two uh, sets of mats, your all weather mats, as well as your summer mats, as you can see there. So one of the other nice features is they've, they've thought about pretty much everything here, Chad. You know, you're doing some gardening and stuff. Maybe you're doing something that's a little bit dirty. You don't want this material to get dirty. So what they've done is they've actually created a upside down that it's nice and it's not fabric so that way you can just wash it off go on about your day you don't have to worry about scrubbing that fabric really really nice features that they've added here and a couple little cubby holes as well back here you know there's your spare tire and your jack of course your front license plate 
And now let's just go uh, into the um, into the engine. We'll go into the engine component there. All right, and as you can see, this is that was very light. I'm doing that with one hand. So what they've done here, Chad, is they've actually used a high strength tensile steel that's very lightweight. And what that does is it it reduces on the road noise you hear, as well as it's giving you better fuel economy because the car is a little bit lighter with the material, yet it's stronger. So now what they've done is they've actually used a 2.5 liter, 203 horsepower. As you can see right here, kind of the same engine that came out of our 2018 Camry. And like I said, I really haven't had any complaints about this engine. Really good pickup compared to our previous model that had about 178. Everything's easily accessible too, as you can see. And now let's just go into the fuel economy here. So this is one thing we're really impressed with this year. 8.3 combined. 8.3, that's unreal. 9.2 on the city and 7.1 on the highway. Annual cost, if you're driving about 20,000 kilometers, just under 1,700. Now this is really, really impressive for Toyota because our fuel economy last year was about 10.5 and maybe even a little bit worse depending on, of course, the driving conditions that you have. So I hope you really enjoyed this uh, walk around there, Chad. And um, I hope you'll uh, certainly consider our uh, North Edition. We do have other colors. This is just one that you know really uh, stands out uh, from the rest, where it is a custom one. Uh, the colors are just so sharp. But uh, yeah, so we'll certainly talk over the numbers and that, and I uh, I hope we can uh, we can work something out there, bud. Thanks. Bye.